Hey, greetings from the Pacific Northwest, Bo, back for round two. I don't know how informative the first one was, but I got a lot more. I left a lot of stuff on the shelf, too. I only get 15 minutes. Gregory Short gave me a good idea about how to, you know, you just got to acknowledge some stuff to be able to do longer videos. I haven't done it yet. I'm just going to try to fly through these. More recommendations. I'll try to keep my comments pithy. So let's just get going, okay? Uh, this is the chocolate watch band. This is an original on tower. I had a reissue of this. Uh, this is an example of reissues are acceptable when it's, you know, they're, like this is a highly priced album. I found this for like nothing. You don't find, you don't make finds like this hardly anymore for, you know, for super cheap. It wasn't in the best condition. I wasn't going to leave it there. I picked it up. That's a chocolate watch band. Here's what I mean. Like July, record store day issue from a couple years ago on that splatter vinyl, which is kind of cool. There, you know, pick pick up reissues where you can. I mean, for these high high dollar ones. Here's the other one from the Chocolate Watch Band, um, Inner Mystique. This is actually two different bands, believe it or not. The uh, the, the two key guys, uh, uh, Dave Aguiar, Mark Loomis, the two main guys, Ed Cobb, who managed these guys in the Standells. I left Standells out of this because they're a garage band. Uh, they, they quit halfway through the group, so we got studio musicians to finish this. That's why some of these sound like garage rock, which is what kind of really what the Chocolate Watch Band was. Some of them are more psychedelic in nature. Here's another one. One of those Texas bands on international artists. This is the, uh, the Golden Dawn Power Plant. It's a really expensive record. Reissues are way acceptable. Here's one I just got yesterday. Reissue. Churchill Party. Churchill's party or Churchill's, anyhow, uh, may been an Israeli group. This you know this thing goes for like a thousand or two thousand dollars. I'm never gonna find it. Reissue is just fine. Here's another one. They only made like 500 copies of this. I have seen one time an original. This not in person, but on YouTube, a guy showed an original of this. This is a Sunday's reissue from the late 90s, I think. Minneapolis group. It's got some other stuff, some other tracks. So it's got the, this. Trip Through Hell, and then some extra tracks on there. Perfectly acceptable. Now, I think everything else in here is going to be an original. If it's not, I'll say. Uh, this is uh, The Unspoken Word, Tuesday, April 19th. It's on Ascot Records. Um, it's kind of folk psych. This is an interesting group. This is the United States of America. This is on Columbia. And it's badly water damaged. This was super cheap. Um, at least the, vinyl, the jacket is the vinyl's fine. Um... They didn't use electric guitar, so some interesting psych there. Boss Town Sound, Ultimate Spinach, MGM. Uh, I enjoy both their first two records. I don't have any. They, they made one or two others. I don't have them. This was a gift from Jason. There's a guy I forgot to mention yesterday, Funny Face 26. Great channel. He doesn't make a lot of videos right now, but great channel, great psych guy. This is uh, Tomorrow, featuring Keith West and Steve Howe. This is the one that's got My White Bicycle on it. It's the, you know how there's the um, the Record Store Day reissue from a year or two ago, and then the originals are really hard to find. But this is like a, like a late 70s or early 80s reissue of the album in England. He gave that to me. I thought that was really neat. This is like psychedelic jazz. This is the... Uh, West Coast Workshop, The Wizard of Oz, and other trans love trips. I <laughs> got this recently. This is pretty. This is a pretty cheap, pretty cool find. It's a uh, psychedelic jazz. Now this is kind of more garage, but this is uh, mainstream. This is a gift from Steve Dar. Some of you guys know out there. Another good psych garage guy. Um, the, the Jelly Bean Band. It's another one off of mainstream. Um, it's got some psychedelic influences. Mainstream put out a lot of kind of exploito type psych. If you like it more prog like, got the soft machine. Uh, the gears on this do work. Oops, the naughty back cover. Um, if you like more hard rockin' style, here we've got Blue Cheer, Vincibus Irruptum, which had the hit. They covered Summertime Blues, was a top 40 hit for them. This is the, you know, the, the raised cover edition. Folk Psych. Uh, Tim Buckley. I really like his first couple albums. This is uh, Hello Goodbye. Um, I first became aware of him. There was an old HBO in the 80s did a documentary called uh, Letter, Dear America, Letters Home from Vietnam. And one of the sections, uh, once they did Once I Was, while well, they read a guy's letter. Uh, very moving. Tim Buckley, some folk psych. 
It's on Chess. Chess was more known for rhythm and blues. And this is, uh, they're cashing on, on that. This is the Baroques. This is a really good, this is not, this one's not cheap or easy to find. Um, this one's kind of relatively easy to find. The Beacon Street Union, more of that Boss Town sound, MGM. Uh, the first couple records are pretty good. The Clown Dine at Myron Gardens has some has some misses on it, but overall, not bad. Um, the Birds, you know, this is, even the major groups dipped in this, like, this is Fifth Dimension. This is a cheap, easy find. Some nice filler stuff. Another one that's a fairly cheap, easy find, the Blues Magoos. Uh, avoid never going back to Georgia, but their first two or three records, Basic Blues Magoos. And Electric Comic Book's really good. This one's got the big hit, of course, of uh, Ain't Got Nothing Yet. It's on Mercury. Another heavy hitter that... The Animals were two different groups. You know, they were an R&B band. They were a psychedelic band. Eric Burden is the one tie-in between the two. Um, San Francisco Nights is on here. Uh, good times. It's all meat from the same bone. They do a cover of Paint It Black. Yes, I am experienced. The call and response to Jimi Hendrix. Of course, it's got the hype sticker of San Francisco Nights on there. MGM. Eric Burden and the Animals. Pop Psych. Yeah, the association. This is a great Pop Psych record. Uh, look, don't believe me, listen to Pandora's Golden Heebie Jeebies. Fantastic. I love that record. That's one of my favorite records right there. It's on Valiant. Animated Egg. Cash in. I'm somewhere in here, and it's coming up later. I should have had them together. There's the id. The id and the animated egg are supposed to be studio music. It's rumored to be studio musicians, and the two records are pulled from the same session. So, animated egg. Exploito psych, as it were. Uh, international artists. Bubble puppy. International artists put out a lot of good stuff. Most of them were southwest, you know, were from the southwest Texas. Bubble puppy. Uh, they had a top 40 hit with Hot Smoke and Sassafras. Mm, it's probably more Garage than Psych, but I pulled it anyhow just because it's kind of a cool cover. The other half on, on Acta. Acta. Acta Your Age Records. Folk Psych. The above ground sound of Jake Holmes. Now, why should I care about Jake Holmes? Well, because Jake Holmes wrote Dazed and Confused. That's why you should care about Jake Holmes. Very cool. Um, she's been a folk singer. Uh, this is actually a pretty terrible album. <laughs> this is always overpriced. I shouldn't have showed this at all. I wish I hadn't bought this. Yes, I'm keeping it. It's not up for trade. The Carolyn Hester Coalition. Um, H.P. Lovecraft 2. Their first three records are really good. Took their name from the horror writer. H.P. Lovecraft. I need a sip of coffee. It is the Pacific Northwest. Although it's going to be like in the 80s today. What's your whistle? Before Jefferson Airplane, there was The Great Society. Grace Slick. This is cool because it's got interesting versions of Somebody to Love and White Rabbit. They're completely different than she did them with the Jefferson Airplane. The Fireballs. Come on, react. The Fireballs. Check out their version of Codine. Outstanding. Outstanding album. Now, there's a thing I like to listen to. It's a... It's a, it's a oh, what do they call those things? Those When you listen on your phone... This podcast. Uh, it's called Garage Punk. They're out in New Zealand. And he was talking about this on Crown Records, the Firebirds. And then he has it on the two. There's another group. They're on Crown Records. They were teenagers. Uh, they were just paid to do some covers. Like here, they were doing Light My, The Doors Light My Fire. Um, and then I don't have the, I can't even think of what the other group was. But it, it came out, put it on a two, two CD set of these guys. This is, this is a pretty decent record for being a bunch of teenage kids. Not a psychedelic record, but uh, the track just dropped in to see what condition my condition is. Yeah, Kenny Rogers. Fantastic psychedelic track. On Roulette, which was kind of a, you know, nefarious label, <laughs> I guess. The Fallen Angels. Uh, their second album, which I don't have, is, is much more psychedelic than this one. Uh, more cash in on GMP Crescendo, The Fire Escape. Uh, psychotic reactions so there they are they cover lots of stuff on here i won't cover all of them but so that's cash in stuff here's more cash in stuff mike deasy known for being uh in the wrecking crew this is the friar tuck well he's friar tuck and his psychedelic guitar very cool here's one that's got a hit on it this is on uni fever tree which has got the return of the native or san francisco girls it's known by a few different titles but 
There's that one. Very psychedelic here indeed. Elmer Gantry's Velvet Opera. This is on Direction Records, much like that cream record from yesterday. This was a gift from Funny Face 26. Electric Prunes were really good, so I pulled a couple of their records. This is kind of interesting because this, I have a US, but this is a UK pressing of Underground. This is their, to me, this is their better record. And of course, the one with the hit, the Electric Prunes, Too Much to Dream. Here we've got Eden's Children. That's a pretty decent bit of psychedelia. Here's some folk psych, Daughters of Albion. This is on Fon the Fontana label. So uh, another one, example of that mainstream psychedelic sound. This is December's Children. And that one's not exactly easy to find either. Here's an example of a, of a cheap, easy record to find. Country Joe and the Fish, Electric Music for the Mind and Body. One of my favorite records, and it's cheap. I mean, so you don't always have to spend a lot of money to get good stuff. Sorry, i got to reach out of camera. The stack is big, but it's getting smaller. Comfortable Chair. We're not going to make all of them, I don't think. The Comfortable Chair. Robbie Krieger and John Densmore discovered these guys produced this. It's pretty good from the doors if you don't know who they are, which you should. I'm sure you do. Chameleon Church. Why is this important? Because I'm Chevy Chase and you're not. Captain Beefheart and his magic band. Safe as milk. A lot of his later stuff is much more psychedelic than this. This is more kind of blues-based, but this, and this is on Buddha. This is a really cool record. This is like the only beef heart I own. It's the only one I like. I've tried Trout Massacre, but I can't get into it. CCR, not exactly a psychedelic band, but you can't tell me that Suzy Q, Suzy Q is not a psychedelic song. And this is the one first press without the hype sticker. Chad and Jeremy even dipped into their, and these are cheap, easy to find. And these are fantastic record of Cabbages and Kings and the Ark. A couple of good records. Like it more mainstream? Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild. Cheap, easy to find, psychedelic. More cash in, Flick Disc. St. John Green, uh, Kim Fowley produced this. Kim Fowley produced a lot of good psych stuff. Um, how about the smoke? The, the American smoke, not the smoke, not the British smoke. So we got the smoke. Man, Sweetwater, My Crystal Spider. Nancy, what's her name? Nancy Nevins. Fantastic voice. This is a this is a pretty good psychedelic record. Um, Spirit, Randy California. You know, I, I actually prefer the family that plays together, stays together. But this is a great psych record too. Cheap, easy to find. This one not as cheap and easy to find, but still a great record. International artist, uh, the Red Crayola, Parable of Arable. Yeah, Quicksilver. This is my favorite Quicksilver record. Everybody likes the first one. I like this one because it's got fresh air on it. Which is my favorite song to do. But the Peanut Butter Conspiracy. That's some good psych. That's not too hard. That's a mono copy, by the way. It's pretty cool. Um, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. If you like your psych, see Emily play right there, man. That's on Tower. SF Sorrow, Pretty Things. This is U.S. Die Cut. It's on Rare Earth. I should have known that. Off the top of my head. How about the Neon Philharmonic? The Moth Confesses. That's pretty easy to find one. Here's one I recently got. Um, Chelsea Girl from Nico. This was a gift from Matt Sands. This is a really cool psychedelic record. It's on ABC Pro Morgan. It's good stuff. More mainstream, like that San Francisco sound. Moby Grape. Hey, he's giving me the Boyd. Omaha. Omaha Heinz Revert. It's got the hit. Omaha, you gotta have this one. Moby Grape. All their stuff's good. That San Francisco sound. And the monkeys went psychedelic. Head. Check out that movie if you've not seen it. That's good stuff. More folk psych. Lillian Maria. Down to the last minute. Gotta try to hurry it up here. Fillmore Lincoln. North Wind Blue South. The Leaves. Yeah, more of a garage band, but this is more psychedelic. This has a great version of Codon. The Love Exchange on Tower. Tower put out a lot of good stuff. Folk psych. Or pop psych. The, the Love Generation. This is way more pop than psych, but it's included. Kaleidoscope. Side Trips. Pat Kilroy, Sad Story. Died very young. This I call uh, Folk Psych. Incredible String Band. Also kind of a Folk Psych on Electra. I only like their first two records. Here, here's the id on uh, RCA Victor. And we've got 18 seconds left. I'll kill it with this. Flashes, Ill Wind. That's it. Maybe part three, we'll see. See you guys, bye.